A new report shows that North Carolina ranks as one of the top 10 most dangerous states for cyclists. It's a shock for some people in the local biking community, especially since many cyclists tout this area as being one of the best places in the nation to ride bicycles. News 13's Kimberly King joins us live. Kim? Larry, an industry magazine for insurance companies actually did the report and they cited federal statistics ranking North Carolina as 10th in the average rate of mortalities related to cycling. On a beautiful day like today, Asheville can be a cyclist's paradise. Riders climbing hills, navigating with cars all over the Blue Ridge Parkway. But the new report, ranking North Carolina as the 10th most dangerous state for bike riders, has some understanding why. It's very scary. And the only place I've ridden is Asheville. I really enjoy it, and I mountain bike too. Carrie Fontaine agrees with her friend Susan Weaver, who loves pedaling the parkway. But when it's open to cars, as it is today, Susan feels the area is limited. But there is no place else to ride. I wish they would put bike paths, but, you know, that's a lot of money. It's scary. It's very threatening. Claudia Nix has owned Liberty Bikes with her husband in Asheville for 34 years. She's heard about the report. Last September, Dean Davis was riding on the side of rural State Road 28 in western North Carolina when a driver accidentally killed him. Recently, North Carolina got a complete streets bill passed into law. Which means that the states have to consider bicyclists and pedestrians. Which should in the future make roads more accommodating for both. Claudia explains well, basics to make cyclists safer. One thing... It's taking a class so that you know how to communicate and make yourself visible if you choose a helmet that's bright something like this and clothes like this. don't choose soft pastels but ones that are screaming yellow you got jackets and vests you got arm warmers gloves all this stuff helps to make you visible. But Claudia says cyclists have also got to pay attention and follow the rules of the road. There are additional safety precautions Claudia says you can take. She also feels that many fatalities often take place in larger metropolitan areas in North Carolina. Here's a mirror on the back of a helmet so that uh, riders can see oncoming motorists. Also, like she said, very bright colored jackets. Also, these are even arm skins to put on your arms. And then at night, a flasher for the back of your bike or for your helmet. Reporting live along Long Shoals Road, Kimberly King, News 13.